Hi, I'm Mateo, and today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to be doing to prepare for this week's Pets Go update. We have some pretty wild leaks that should get you very excited about tomorrow's update, including a brand new mini game as well as a new huge. I also have an inside scoop on some of the partners' thoughts about the current state of Pets Go, and I'll be giving my thoughts on that as well. And then finally, we will be going over some general tips and tricks for preparing for a big update in this game. So if you learn anything new in today's video consider giving it a like and subscribing for more helpful pets go content now let's get straight into this update all right you guys so as you can see i am making this video a little bit late we currently have a 11 hours and 38 minutes that's actually interesting you guys that means that the update's actually going to be at 11 a.m eastern tomorrow and not 12 p.m i'm not sure if this is just a bug with the timer because of daylight savings time or if this is actually when the update's going to come out but i I just actually noticed that so it's a good thing i'm making this video it looks like the update might be an hour earlier than we typically see it due to the daylight savings time change now right off the bat let's just go over the leaks that we have confirmed from big games themselves and to start off with tomorrow this dock is going to be completely different because we are actually getting a brand new fishing mini game added let me go pull up the clip really quick now what you'll see when this clip is playing is that it's very similar to the pet sim 99 style of fishing now the other thing is when he actually reels this in you could see that he actually gets 10 fishing tokens so we can only assume that this is going to be used in some sort of fishing merchant now i'm not sure if this is just going to allow you to buy new rods or if you're going to be able to buy other stuff like potions and other cool things but that is pretty much it that is all we were able to see if you pause the video here you can see the fishing merchant behind him and it says you can purchase bait so we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to see what types of things we're gonna be able to fish up hopefully you're going to be able to fish up some things like instant luck potions for example and then maybe even potentially a huge pet we did get a leak about a new huge pet coming to the game but it wasn't one that you would get from the water so i'm not too sure about this theory overall seems like a pretty good addition to the game i was actually just thinking that it's kind of crazy that there isn't a fishing mechanic with the way that they made this dock so it looks like they were thinking the same thing and hopefully this adds a new layer of fun to the game and just something more that we can do besides just sit around and break breakables all day now next up we got another leak directly from big games which is actually a new animation for one of the new huges being added in this week's update really quickly i'll go ahead and play it just so you guys can see it for yourself it's actually a pretty sick animation whoever they got working on these openings is pretty good at their job now i'm just gonna let it play here so i'll be quiet So as you can see, a pretty cool animation. A lot of people are thinking that it's going to be the huge dragon. Obviously, that's a pretty good theory with the fact that the whole animation is like a castle and you can hear a dragon roaring. And then it even has like the fire breathing effect. So definitely a good theory in what I think it's going to be. Now, we don't know for sure if that's going to be the only huge that we're getting in this update, but at least it's something to look forward to for sure. Now, next up, we actually have a pretty crazy discussion going Going on behind the scenes for partners in the game now i'm not gonna name any names because i don't know if this is even like public or something we should be talking about but as of recently in our partner chat i've seen a lot of different partners talking about how big games should handle the amount of huges being added to the game if we actually go over here and head to the index you could see that there is quite a few huge pets in the game. Already, we have nearly 9,000 huge dogs, 9,000 huge cats, nearly 1,000 ghost face cats, 7,000 Shibas, almost 6,000 Nightmare Corgis, almost 5,000 huge Inferno cats, and then 1.6 thousand of the huge Cosmic Axolotls. And these things are one in five billion odds, so it is absolutely insane that there is that much in existence of all of these pets. Now, I won't beat around the bush. Obviously, this is one of the most pay to win games that I've ever personally seen on Roblox. So for the vast majority of players, it's not going to be an issue of 
people getting too many huges it's really only the top spending people that are actually getting these even with my account i bought all of the game passes that came out with the game initially but i haven't bought anything since then and so far my best pet is only this one in 140 million black hole kitsune oh wait we actually have a 50,000 roll let's go do that real quick and okay so yeah as you can see i don't think it's a major issue that most players in the game are going to be getting too many huges honestly don't even think this discussion matters all that much but i do agree with a lot of the points they made now the first major point that was the topic of discussion is whether big games should actually go ahead and sunset huge pets now what sunsetting huge pets means is that they would make it so you could no longer get certain huges anymore so for example like the huge ghost face cat nobody's ever going to be able to get another one of these so that means it is sunsetted which is overall a good thing for the trading community because it creates scarcity and the prices of these are going to go up as people want to collect them and there's going to be very few in existence that they can actually buy now i think what the major discussion was is if they should start sunsetting the basic huges like the huge cat or the huge dog just so there's not too many of these in existence and then if people want to get huges they got to log in the game every week and get whatever new huges that are coming out so for example maybe huges that have been out from two to four weeks start to get removed from the game just so that there isn't too many of these that exist because naturally over time all of these huges are just going to deflate because of how many more are being opened every day as you can see this huge dog is only 10 million now so these prices have absolutely plummeted over time but the one huge that was actually taken out of the rotation the huge ghost face cat is sitting at 261 million so that is a very big difference between the two huges again just because of how darn pay to win this game is i don't think it really matters the only people getting these huges are the pay to win players anyways but for the sake of economy purposes and stuff like that i do agree that they should just start sunsetting huges honestly they should be doing that in pet simulator 99 as well there are just so many darn huges in existence in that game that the significance of even owning a huge really isn't a big deal over over there anymore so i just wanted to throw my two cents in there i doubt anybody's even listening but you know i like to yap about random stuff now going into what you guys should be doing to prepare for tomorrow's update you only have 12 hours so you really have to get on this method but i uploaded a video a few days ago that i definitely think you should watch but if i can give a quick summary but basically what you do is you go ahead and unlock the instant luck tier 4 potion now the reason why you go ahead and unlock that is because you actually get one for free when you do so so you get one of these potions for free which then you can go ahead and sell instantly for a hundred and five thousand now when i made that video these were 160k but now they're only selling for 105 so you are going to be making it a little less but you can still most definitely make a lot of diamonds doing it now once you go ahead and sell that first pet and you have some diamonds to work with what you're going to want to do is head into the trading plaza and look for pets that are one in a million plus rarity it has to be between one in a million and one in 10 million all of those pets you can use in the pet juicer machine to make an instant luck for so if you buy a bunch of pets for 2000 diamonds or less you can turn those into a instant luck four potion for 24,000 diamonds which you can then go ahead and sell for four times the price at 105k and then you could basically continue doing that method over and over again until you have all of the diamonds necessary to buy all of the upgrades in the update personally i went ahead and bought every single one of the diamond upgrades doing that method in this week's update as you can see i have every single upgrade in the game unlocked and i haven't bought a single diamond all the diamonds i got have been from strictly trading so you guys can do it too and then besides that i got an additional 500,000 diamonds that i'm going to be using to buy whatever new diamond upgrades are available tomorrow definitely make sure you go ahead and do that because these diamond upgrades are going to become better and better and you are just only going to be falling behind if you don't go ahead and start trading now the other major thing of course is going to be to stock up on coins which i'm actually kind of slacking at unfortunately i went ahead and decided to buy all of the upgrades in the game so i spent the last of my coins last night forgetting that the update was coming tomorrow so right now i'm gonna have to go ahead and start grinding for coins once again but because they raised the coin cap to 2.5 billion 
opinion i suspect that a lot of the upgrades in tomorrow's update are going to be very expensive so you are going to want to stack up on your coins don't be like me and have more than 400 million and then make sure you are knocking out your quests as well because these are very good and give you a lot of very nice potions like for example if i break 20 safes i get six cocktails right now as soon as i got this mission though i haven't seen a safe in like the past hour but one thing i would make sure you do is just go ahead and save your potions and don't craft them into the upper level potions until tomorrow just because they might introduce some new levels of potions that require all of the lower levels so it's just important to stay prepared and be ready for whatever we might face now it is getting pretty late and i didn't realize we are an hour behind so I need to push this video out to you guys, so I'll just end it here, but if this video did help you out, remember to give it a like and subscribe for more. Hope to catch you in the next one, and peace out.